Are you kidding me? There's no cactuses anywhere. There's a bunch of enemies over there. Bunch of enemies. Three of them. And a zombie. Somewhere. I can't believe I can't find a freaking cactus! Good grief. Ooh, there's a nice little cave there. Yeah, this this game is... The way I've modified it, I think, makes it really cool. I mean, it's a cool game to begin with, but... Adding m more exploration to it, that's really awesome. There's one mod I was thinking of getting that creates all these giant towers with these really powerful enemies in it. So if you feel ready for... Ooh, what's that? What's that? Ooh, mushrooms. I want mushrooms. Oh, just jumped out and I picked it up. That's strange. I still remember the first time I picked up a mushroom, there was a creeper right next to me and I had never seen a creeper before. And so I collect the mushroom and I explode and I'm like, oh, mushrooms are dangerous. <laughs> yeah, um, no. Even the, the blackbirds, they even sound like crows. All the birds have their own different sounds. That's awesome. Okay, let me grab this reed. I'll have one reed with me at least. Oh god, I'm probably so lost now. Do have a mini map, but and I know generally where it came from, but still. Hmm. Uh, ooh, lots of mushrooms. Look at all these mushrooms. Do I can I just walk up to them and they come out? No, I just lucked out there. I need the other kind. So one other thing, since I'm not probably going to be doing that in this video, probably, is I... This is, this is just fun, though. Um, set it up so if you use eight uh, dirt underneath an item, you can essentially, quote-unquote, cultivate more of that item. It works for pumpkins, mushrooms, and flowers. So once again, it's highly expensive on dirt. Um, but then you get to do some pretty nifty stuff with it. Okay, I need to get back. I think it's over that way that I need to be. I think. God. Or maybe I'm actually really close. Okay, I know the bunkers. If I see the bunker on the minimap, mini -map, it's going to look very... Ooh, wow, look at all those lions fighting. Ah, there's an enemy right there. Oh, if I died right now... <sighs> I wonder what time it is. It's probably getting late. Uh, it's heading there. Uh, see, I see. I I have a mini map, but I'm totally lost. Although I could look through the logs, the video. Ah, son of a freaking! Look at all those enemies. These are all good guys, but those are all enemies. Yeah, you stay over there. Just trying to look around. I'm trying to. Oh, there's a. Two more enemies. Thought for sure I was over there somewhere. That doesn't look familiar at all. Okay, let's see if I can sneak around these enemies. Can I jump in the water here? Probably. Let's jump right here. And hook. Okay. Oh, pirates are gonna kick my butt! Go between the pirates. I, I just keep. Is he coming towards me? Okay. I, I just keep on walking, think straight instead of backtracking, hoping that I'll make a U turn back to where I was. Seeing how well that works. <laughs> God, I'm, I, I think that's the big mountain that had that really weird shape to it and whatnot, but. One thing that spawns pirates is the death of squids, which is strange, but, uh, hey, that works. So it makes it kind of dangerous to be out in the water. So they start killing a whole bunch of squids, a whole bunch more pirates spawn, and then they kill more squids, and they kill more pirates, and make more pirates, and it's turning nightfall. Great. I'm not even sure that that is that big mountain anymore. Wait. 
Is that my bunker right there? Oh, that's my bunker right there! Yay! Didn't find any, uh... Oh, wait, what is that? Oh, no, it's just the head of a guy. That was another mushroom. Yay! Wow. I really did make a round trip. I didn't find a single cactus. I gotta go a long ways to get a cactus, then. That's kind of cool, though. I actually like that. <laughs> is there anything trapped in here? No. All right, nothing dies. Today. All right, let me make some, some meat. Trip, 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 trip. Okay. Is there anything in here? Anything in here? Oh yeah, I can make the rest of my uh, furnaces. Probably gonna do something else for a clip. Hope you enjoyed our little expedition. I don't have enough dirt to do. Oh, I guess I can make it out of this wood. Yeah, why not? Well, the other thing is, I do have that boat. And, um, where's that boat? Boat, 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 boat. Can I use the boat? Oh, I think I already did it. I got the fishing rod. I do the fishing rod. Yeah, I don't know. I'm really surprised. I guess I already did the boat. Um, but yeah, I have it. Basically, you give it gives you one more dirt for every wood that you end up using up. Um, so this would give me four per. That's good. So biodegrading it into other stuff. When you have stuff that's really small, like eggs, I'll show you that one. If you try to biodegrade an egg, it doesn't work. You have to end up putting, it's either six eggs all in these spots or eight eggs. I don't remember because it's much smaller on the mass. So, yeah. Now that I got more dirt, what was I going to do with dirt? Hmm. You can also do bone. Everything biodegradable. Oh, I might have forgotten to do feathers. Hmm. Okay, well, I definitely need to eat some of this pork. Well, that's good for now. Yeah, I can't for the life of me remember what I was going to do with the dirt. There's going to be something nifty. Oh, yeah, 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 cultivation. Uh, I like this mushroom. So we go into here, take the mushroom, go boink, 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 and you can turn mushroom and a ton of dirt into two mushrooms. Which I think is nifty. I think that it's very expensive to do it that way, but since dirt is technically an infinite resource this way, it makes things like mushrooms an infinite resource too. I gotta figure out a way to make iron. That's the last thing I want to make it an infinite resource. In fact, technically, I don't even really care about making flowers and mushrooms infinite resource. I don't mind that they're limited. They don't have that much use. They're replaceable. Um, but stuff like dirt, sand, clay, and iron are so essential. Uh, and of course, so is coal, but they, at the game, the notch actually added the whole thing himself to turn uh, wood into charcoal. So, he knew that it, it's nice to make that uh, infinite supply as well. The, um, I guess flint and gravel kind of, but you can always get uh, arrows from archers, from uh, skeleton archers, so flint's not that important. And if you need to make a flint and steel set, well, that's pretty easy to come by that much flint. Um, yeah, I'll probably set it up so that it's like, how much clay? Okay, so how much takes a lot of dirt? Okay, so if six dirt make, made one clay, would it be saying too much to make six clay into one iron? That seems kind of expensive. Hmm. You need four clay to make one brick of brick. 
And that's pretty expensive, because you need like 32 iron to really do anything worthwhile with it. So maybe still making it one to one is not the worst thing. Although, uh, a six dirt into six clay. Actually, you know, that's still not that bad. Well, I don't want it to be like what I do instead of mine. But it means that you can like start building tree you can like make a tree farm, you can make a uh reed farm for like the re the sugarcane, uh you can collect a whole bunch of saplings, you can have a pig farm, and all of those things you can keep converting and you can convert into dirt, which you can convert into clay, which you convert into iron. Which not ex <laughs> in a way this is quite a stretch, in a way would work in real life. <laughs> it's a stretch, but it's sort of true. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so I think that's all I'm going to do for now. Got lots of sand because my bunker. Oh, I'm going to go into my bunker. Mm -hmm. What is that? Oh, it's a skeleton. Excellent. Get over here, Skelly. I need some arrows. <laughs> 